Hey everyone, it's Sean from Empire Drone. Today we're going to talk about the upcoming changes to the Autel Robotics Evo 2 platform, more specifically the recent semiconductor chip change and how this is affecting the Evo 2. Let's dive right in. So first, a little backstory. Earlier this month, Autel announced version 2 of the popular Evo 2 drone. This was met with quite a bit of outrage, mostly because of the lack of information associated with the announcements. Folks, understandably, assumed their less than a year old Evo 2 was suddenly obsolete. Autel has since come out with some clarification on this announcement, and as one of the larger Autel resellers, we've been doing our best to disseminate this information. And we hope this video helps. As most people are aware, many industries have been hit by the sudden shortage of semiconductor chips, and the drone industry has been no exception. The shortage has forced Autel to find a new chip manufacturer. This is a necessary growing pain for the company for two reasons. The first being that Autel will actually be able to start manufacturing drones again. And second, because the new chip manufacturer is NDA compliant. More on NDAA compliance in a little bit. So with the switch, there will now be two versions of the EVO 2 line, version 1 and version 2, also known as V1 and V2. So what's that mean for you, the end user? Here's what we know so far. The chips come in pairs, one in the drone and one in the controller. Therefore, V1 and V2 products are not compatible. In terms of repairs and warranties, V1 customers will be taken care of. Autel has extra stock of V1 chips to keep the V1 products working for a long time. If Autel can't repair your product because of lack of parts, they will even replace your V1 product with a V2 product. The Autel Live Deck is considered a V1 product, so it will not be compatible with the V2 platform and future products. Luckily, a V2 streaming product is coming out to replace the Live Deck. With all that being said, the EVO 2 V2 will be the exact same drone as the V1. All accessories, including batteries, will be the same. The only difference is the new chip and that the V2 will be clearly marked on the exterior of the drone with V2. Unfortunately, all this change is occurring at the same time as the release of the Autel Smart Controller, which has caused some serious confusion. For those who don't know, the Smart Controller, or SC, is Autel's soon-to-be-shipped breakthrough ground control system. It will have a very large and bright screen, and it's Autel's answer to the DJI Smart Controller, and some. A lot of people are excited for the Autel SC because of how easy it makes using the Evo 2. Just turn on the drone and the SC and launch. No need for brackets, cables, and third-party tablets. That being said, the Autel SC retails for $1,199. So for some, the third-party tablet route might still be the way to go. At any rate, the SC is going to be a game changer for Autel users. So you can see why there's a lot of hype for the smart controller and a lot of confusion about the V2 announcement. Because just like with the drone, there will be a V1 and a V2 version of the smart controller. And the different versions are not compatible with each other. The V1 smart controller for the V1 drone and the V2 smart controller for the V2 drone. What we know is that 500 V1 smart controllers have been allocated for the US market and that the V2 controller will be available in the near future along with the V2 EVO 2. We hope we haven't lost you at this point. We know it can be confusing. But rest assured, along with the chip switch, Autel is making moves to become an even more competitive player in the US drone market. In a recent webinar with the new Autel CEO, Randall Warnos, we were able to glean the following info. The EVO 2 isn't going anywhere anytime soon. It is a solid platform with a long and very exciting roadmap. Autel is quickly moving towards NDAA compliance, which essentially means it's made in the USA. NDAA compliance means federal agencies and contractors will be able to use Autel drones for their work. It's not clear at this time if this will apply to all future products or just their enterprise line. Check out our video explaining NDAA compliance for more information on that subject, especially if you work for a federal agency or do work for the federal government. Another important bullet from the webinar is that Autel is not leaving behind its consumer users. They understand the importance of creating and maintaining products for customers other than enterprise users. This is great news for any of our photographers, videographers, and recreational users out there. And last but not least, new payloads and platforms are on the near horizon. No real specifics on this yet, other than that the Autel CEO recognizes that there are only really two Autel platform options right now. Small, like the Evo 2, and big, like the Dragonfish, which isn't 100% commercially available yet. So new products are headed our way, which has us very, very excited. 
So that was a look at the current situation with the very popular Evo 2 platform and a brief glimpse at Autel's very bright future. Feel free to reach out to us anytime with questions or video requests. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit our website and subscribe to our social media in the links below. We'll see you next time.